Okay guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, I'm going to tell you a wee duck fly pattern. Now, the hook in the vise is a Camazon B110 in uh, size 12. The thread we're going to start off using is the Ultra Thread in 70 in black by UTC. Now, I'm just going to come straight in, get it sort of way started in line with the point of the hook. Run on a few mil of thread, remove the waist tag. The rib on the fly, this is a small Opal Mirage tinsel. Just want to catch that on my side. And then I'm just going to bring my thread down just until we start to go around the, the bend of the hook. Then I'm going to work the thread back up. There, and then I'm going to come back down. Probably halfway and back up. Now you can put more of a taper into this if you wish. And then at this point, I'm just going to come in and throw in a couple of half hitches just to stop the thread from bouncing around. Then I'm going to come around with about six turns of the open rash tinsel to create the, the body. tinsel and thread isn't the most robust spotty in the world so we're going to put on some UV resin. Right, just time a one more out up there. I'm going to come kind of in and I'm going to switch over to a uni thread in 8.0. Right. There, you can just come in and trim away the UTC tang thread and your waist tag black uni. Just going to put another wee half hitch in. Now I'm just going to use a UV resin on the body. Just a small amount here. I'm not looking to put any sort of added bulk onto the body here. Now, I'm just going to try and keep it in shot for you because I don't know what I've did with this camera. It's made it to quite a, quite a shot. So. Just make sure it's whole way right around the the fly, the UV resin. Then we'll come in and light that up. Just make sure it's well cured before you continue to tie the remainder of the fly. Now we're just going to come in at this point and put on a couple of wee Tackles, we weigh tackles to give the impression of wings. Now, you're looking the wings, the tips anyway, to be coming past the the bend of the hook, in my view. A couple of tight turns will catch those in. Now, those wee wings are now, just going to have a wee look, just a wee bit long, so I'm just going to pull them in a wee bit. That's a wee bit better now. Just have a wee check. Okay, that on. Now, I'm just going to tighten up on that. I'm just going to come in and clip away the excess. Now, I'm just going to put a wee drop of super glue on my thread. Just to take it down over the cut ends of the hackles. Just to, just to help the fly last a wee bit longer. And then we'll work the thread back up. That's dead easy. These wee duck flies, you can make them dead complicated, but this one's dead easy. Now the thorax, this is the light olive SLF. Now the other ones, I'll show you a wee box of flies here. Um, well, the start of a box of flies that I'm doing that's heading down south. Just looking to build up the thorax. Right, just going to get another wee bit. Just a wee small pinch. Just want to sort of finish off at the at the top here. Right, anything that's going forward, just come in and stroke it back. And then just going to come in with my Velcro and just 
just touching this and that scrubbing it it's just to bring some of the the tubbing out into the wee dress and then just stroke it back it looks really well when it's like that like a hatching midge now we haggle at the front this is just a waiting 4B hen at uh, Greenswell so we're just looking at a small haggle off the bottom of the cape we'll stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip just going to offer this up to the hook run with two turns, fold the tip back bring your thread back up over the tip and the haggle you can see that, just slide your fingers back tip of the haggle come out break that away and then I'm looking roughly about two, three turns, something like that just when I'm tying these wee flies I'll just see what way the fibre suits the wee pattern now, just going to put another probably half of one in underneath just going to come around with the thread catching in the haggle fold everything back and then we're just going to build up our head I just want a nice weeny tail on the fly keeping your thread tight and break away the stem that's how you know it's well tied in the haggle guys <coughs> excuse me if you can break away the stem then I'm going to come in and put in a quick finish put the thread nice and tight come in and trim away the, the tan thread now all you have to do is the first coat on the head is going to be a wee drop of uh, super glue If you don't feel comfortable using super glue, just put on varnish. Right, this is just going to go off shadowy minute, guys. Just bear with me. I need to get the camera sorted out for us. And then once that dries, I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish. Just the seal everything up, we'll just clean the eye out just in case there was any super glue a couple of coats of varnish but there's the other ones that I've been tying tonight so let's get them in the camera so you can see them that's the size 10 B175, she's got them in red orange orange and red again and these wee olive ones so look guys um that's just a wee bonus video because i usually don't do two in one day anymore but hopefully you've got something out of that just a wee simple duck fly pattern you'll, you'll not go wrong with them if you're fishing the big irish locks or even in a bus or hatch anywhere um they'll take fish um i just wanted to say before i end the video i never in my wildest stream thought i would have got 975 subscribers so I want to thank each and every one, each and every one of us who have taken the time to subscribe to the channel and have taken the time to view the videos. Um, so thank you very much. So until next time, please stay safe and take lines.